Okay, today I'm going to be putting popcorn kernels in my vacuum chamber to see if the kernels explode to look like this. So the reason I'm doing this is because I've got a lot of requests to do this. This is one of my highest requested things to do in my vacuum chamber. So I'll let you decide for yourself what happens to popcorn kernels in a vacuum chamber. So popcorn kernels normally pop because they have a small amount of moisture in there, a small amount of liquid, and that liquid becomes a vapor when you heat it up, and the vapor eventually gets to high enough pressure that it pops the seed up and it cooks all the starch in there. And that makes the popcorn out of the popcorn kernel. So I guess a question that a lot of my viewers have is if you just put popcorn kernels in there, will the vacuum be strong enough to explode the popcorn kernel? I have an idea what will happen, but do you? Let's check it out. Okay, popcorn kernels in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. So I don't see much happening here yet. We're at 0.6 atmospheres or 0.4 atmospheres. Okay, we're about at 0.1 atmospheres and there's nothing happening so far. Okay, let's turn off the vacuum chamber. So, no, our kernels did not pop in a vacuum chamber. Of course they didn't pop. There's no gas inside of them, and also they have a very hard shell, so the inside of the kernel is still at high pressure because there's nothing to reduce the pressure because the volume didn't expand of the seeds. So, kernels by themselves will not pop in a vacuum chamber. So, as a consolation prize, how about watching some bubble wrap in a vacuum chamber? Okay, bubble wrap in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. So we're gonna see the volume expand as the pressure decreases outside of it. Let's see if it pops. We're halfway there. Starting to pop. There it goes. <laughs> We're losing it. Only a few left. Hey everyone, thanks for watching again. I hope you liked this video. If you did, remember to subscribe if you haven't yet. And you can leave me some comments in the comment section with any questions you have or anything you'd like to see me do next time. And I'll see you next time.